So welcome everyone. I'm going to uh, mention and demonstrate how to build your own chain with the Cosmos SDK. Um, first and foremost, who I am. So I'm Julien Robert. I'm uh, the Cosmos SDK engineering lead at Binary Builders. And I happen to as well be a developer at Ignite. Uh, I'm French, based in Netherlands, and I really care about uh, DevX. Um, so first, is anyone here knowing what is the Cosmos SDK? Okay. Then let, let's just start by what it is. So it's a, it's a framework to build software in blockchain. So from building a DeFi application to deep in application to any basically blockchain you want, it allows you to do that with like some building steps and components that you can mix and match together. So it's limitless. So you build uh, your, um, your blockchain in Go and you're not limited by a VM. Uh, you don't have to use to build to use solidity and you have full control about what's happening in your blockchain so you have full control over the blocks in your blockchain and you have full control about the transaction the messages what get in and out you it's very configurable um, and as well it's plug and play so there is a set of modules that are already existing and provided by the cosmos sdk that allows you to do not have to do that you can just focus directly in the business logic that you want to build. So you have like already in the Cosmos SDK a governance module uh, that allows you to submit proposal, a bank module obviously for, for sending and receiving tokens. Uh, you have a proof of stake capabilities with the staking evidence slashing modules that allows you to do not worry about the validator implementation and just rely on the existing one from the Cosmos SDK. And the Cosmos SDK has a module as well to handle upgrades. So I've written here, there's over 20 modules provided by Cosmos SDK, and there is many more provided by IBC, by Cosmos and Mistra. And that's where, it, that's why it is ex extensible. Uh, you have the IBC module to make your chain connect to each other with the IBC protocol. And if you really want a VM and you people that use um, your chain or build on your chain to, to, to have a VM uh, uh, to execute their, uh, their contracts, you, you have already the EVM uh, Ethermint module existing, you have Cosm, Wasm, or you have with Algorithm VM, JavaScript. Um, but the most important is as a chain, Dave, when you use the Cosmos SDK is building your own modules. This is what makes your chain your chain. Like you, 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 you want to build a chain, a real world product, probably that has like custom logic and not reuse only just what existing. Um, so the Cosmos SDK allows you to do that pretty, pretty easily. So it's as well the framework of the in-chain. Like you don't really here. It has the Cosmos name that people love or hate, uh, but all the chain that we can see here, from the OIDX to Stry to Osmosis or the Cosmos Hub, obviously, are based on the Cosmos SDK. Uh, there is a few new ones that uh, are as well IBC connected that do not use the Cosmos SDK, but the majority of it is just based on it. So it's a like widely used framework that tells you to build. A zillion of use case. This is a zillion of use case. So now let's just dive immediately into the internals and how it works. Uh, because what it is, it's basically uh, the application layer of, of, of your blockchain. Uh, so, so this is where you define your business logic, and this is where uh, uh, you. Um, sorry. This is where you define your business logic, and this is where uh, it allows you to interact with like the consensus of uh, of the blockchain. So it wraps everything in one, and implements ABCI 2.0, and it uses Comet BFT. And for a quick reminder of what Comet BFT is, it's a it's an implementation of the tenement uh, consensus algorithm, and this handles the uh, validators, the blocks, and the peer-to-peer -peer, uh, uh, layer, and the Cosmos SDK and the rest. So the the modules and uh, the transactions and uh, etc. So as you can see on this side here, you have in the blockchain in the Cosmos SDK app chain, you have the state machine, which is the application layer built in Cosmos SDK, and you have as well a Comet BFT that uses uh, that handles consensus and uh, peer to peer. Um, so how does it all built together is basically you have something called base app in the Cosmos SDK, which is basically doing everything I've just mentioned. So it integrates Cosmos SDK into IBCI 2.0, so allows you to prepare your proposal to 
uh, uh, that that will be produced over the next block to process the proposal to have vote extension and then to eventually execute the block. Um, it runs checks on all transactions like signature verification and uh, uh, sequence verification that with something called anti handler You as well, ex it executes as well begin and end blocker of module. So this is something that module able to do execute code before and at the end of a block. It's as well something that base app is directly handling, which is as well ultimately uh, executing transaction, and you can define as well in base app, the application make pool, store handling, etc. So it does quite much things. It's currently quite a monolith, and it's pretty useful, uh, 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 but it's something we want to uh, to try to improve, and I'll demonstrate it later. Um, so on top of base app, you have something called a runtime, which basically will create the base application, and then runtime is what you will mostly as a developer of your chain interact with, and you will just uh, uh, basically wire a module in one time, and then you have the last component, uh, which is the server. This is what will start the node, and uh, will uh, basically handle the, 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 the starting, stopping, and the rest of the uh, CLI. Now we're going more into a V2 uh, kind of uh, more modular approach. So we have basically it's base app that was doing way too many things at once, being split a bit more into small components uh, uh, that are easily reprinciable. Uh, the SDK is going more modular, the module again modular, but as well the core layer of the Cosmos SDK. So we start with STF, which is the, basically a state transaction function, which is just adult like it takes a, 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 a transactions and and gives you the new state. It does as well the transaction validation. And then you have something that will wrap STF, which is called the App Manager. We will only do uh, uh, storage genesis and then pass on dev, dev rock in the genesis as our, uh, uh, logic. And then again, you have runtime v2, which is the runtime from before uh, uh, that allows you to wire your modules. but um, but this time, instead of wrap, wrapping base app, it wraps STF and the app manager. Uh, as you see, there were no Comet BFT in those three components, though there's something new, the, uh, the server v2 Comet BFT components, which uh, is handling the Comet BFT, the consensus. Uh, instead of being directly included into base app, it has been pushed uh, until, let's say, the, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, as far as you can, the app uh, outside of the app, so that uh, you're able to eventually swap even the consensus. So, in this part where you had base app that was implementing ABCI and the whole application implementing ABCI and very commit BFT base, in this new world, uh, you're able to use a commit BFT server if you want to build an ABCI implementation and, and use the uh, capability of ABCI as well to use another consensus engine, for instance, Guardian from Syndra or any other that you. Uh, might want to use. And then you see how the server part the, the, that will start all those servers. So in the end, it's just more modular and swappable, as I mentioned. So the, as I've said, the internals are abstracted by runtime, but not hidden. So the Cosmos SDK, you're still able to, um, to set your custom maple and everything, but you don't have to. Like the Cosmos SDK provide good default, that's why you will use an SDK instead of rebuilding everything from scratch. Uh, so what you need to know if you're coming to Cosmos and you want to build your blockchain, you have to know about all the internals I just mentioned. It's just great to know a bit of uh, how it works. Uh, but eventually you just need to know about the, 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 the runtime and you're still able to modify things to make it uh, 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 how you want it if you need to. So. This is in both worlds. You have the, basically the Cosmos SDK, uh, uh, the, all the modules that are being uh, developed, and your own modules, and you have runtime v2 that will abstract what I just mentioned above, uh, uh, which is base app or whatever sort of v2. So what you're mostly building uh, when you build your application is a little question mark there. It's your own module and then the wiring of your application. Um, so you don't have to think about all the rest, this is already uh, developed and working. Yeah, you don't have to care about, you just have to care about your own module. So, what is a Cosmos SDK module? I haven't even mentioned that yet. It's basically the heart of your application. Like, 
what makes your application different, what makes your blockchain different is the custom module that it has. For instance, um, if you want to buy, it, uh, if you want to develop a DeFi application, you will develop a DEX module or uh, or whatever. If you want to build a DeFi application, with you you have probably a register of uh, of um, nodes or, or hosts or, or whatever. So this is really what makes your application different. Currently, they are built in Go, so the rest of the Cosmos SDK is as well in Go. So you will be using Go to build your modules. There is more to come, rest, but we'll see. Um, and you have as well control over everything that happens in your blockchain. So you have control about the supported messages. You will be defining which transaction, which messages uh, uh, your module is able to execute. Uh, you have control over the transaction valid uh, validation to verify that it's, it's a valid transaction before you execute it. And you have as well a set of logic that we kept that we borrowed from ABCI 1.0, uh, which is begin and end block. So even if you don't have um, ABCI chain uh, uh, and you don't use commit BSC, you still have the possibility to execute um, logic before and at the end of uh, uh, each block. And obviously, you can integrate your module with also module, uh, which means like you can use the bank module to extend the functionality and, and do whatever. So it's you you just basically able to build anything you want, and there is only one thing that you need to remember: is make your module deterministic. But that's it. Like it's still a blockchain, so it has to be deterministic. But uh, for the rest, this is this is it. So let's just go quickly as well how uh, Cosmos SDK module uh, integrates and how you can build one. Uh, so you have basically an app module, which is all the interfaces that the module needs to implement. So think of in the genesis for the genesis handling or migration when you do a chain upgrade and you want to migrate the state of your module. This is a bunch of interface that will make basically runtime, recognize your module as a module. And then you have three little all the things, which is a keeper, which is what basically handles the states. Uh, uh, if you build in web to your CRUD application, this is where you will do your CRUD logic. And then when you handle your messages, this is where you'll do the business logic in the message server. Uh, um, so if you have a bank send, you will handle the, the bank sending in the message server and then write to state using the keeper method. And eventually you want to expose that somewhere and you just have a query. Um, all of this, you'll be able to easily define your messages in protobuf and you're able to absolutely generate with already existing tooling all the, um, um, all the um, message handler and everything. You just basically just have to fit in your, uh, your business logic. There were, were, uh, there were a moment where you actually needed to write your own CLI, but since the latest version of the SDK, this is as well directly abstracted for you, and you don't even need to write your own CLI. Your CLI will be automatically generated for your message and for your queries. And once you have your module being built, uh, what the only thing you need left is an app. So an app is basically only four files. You can make it more, but for getting working, you just need four files, which is an app.go file, which will only contain basically all the modules that uh, uh, you want to do some registration. And what you see here, the app builder, this pointer maybe, the app builder is basically runtime. So you, you just call runtime to build your application, and then you load it to, uh, to the latest height, uh, latest uh, height, and then you have your application. If you don't do anything, if you want to do something more custom, as what I mentioned earlier, you're able to have options to extend uh, runtime and change things in base app to the way you want to have your application maple they bring difference of being just a five or maple uh, or anything else. This is possible, but you get your just blockchain out. You just in this, and this little YAML, or it can be Go, it can be JSON. Doesn't really matter. Just prayer to see here. This YAML will just basically define all the module you have in your ch in your in your chain. So you want the block module, the second well, distribution consensus, etc. And then somewhere here, you have some module to make your chain. And then you have a blockchain. And that's it for your app. That's this is the two things you need. So how would you start building your uh, blockchain? Uh, basically the one, there is two easy way to start, uh, which is checking out the Cosmos SDK SIM app, which is basically a demonstration app that we have in the Cosmos SDK uh, uh, that has comments on everything you can do, all functionality you can have, or you can use Ignite CLI, which is a tool that allows you to just 
scaffold quickly a blockchain uh, with as well good defaults. Um, once you have that, so you scaffolded the two things I mentioned earlier, you want to test it, so you write your module test, uh, uh, just simple unit test, and integration and end-to-end -end test, instance test. There is like framework as well integrated in TSDK uh, that allows you to do this, and then eventually when you're going to integrate IBC and connect to other chain, you want to see if everything IBC related works. Here yeah, there is um, a framework, a testing framework called integration test that, uh, that allows you to do that. Uh, but then you only have a blockchain, and uh, eventually you just want as well to build uh, an application uh, uh, online. So you have to build your front end. Um, and there is as well some tooling that allows you to do that. Uh, for instance, the Cosmos SDK node uh, uh, expose J JSON RPC or gRPC endpoints that allows you to just query the modules and, um, and um, the state generally. And then if you want to um, if you want to make your um, your your uh, front end with you or React, you have a library called JavaScript library called Cosmos, Cosmos JS that allows you to do that, and then Cosmos Kit to integrate with wallets such as the Cosmos ecosystem. There is Kepler, there is Leap, or whatever, and uh, Telescope to do the um, to do the translation for the module uh, protos to uh, JavaScript. I think I talk really fast. Yeah. So that that was mainly a presentation. Uh, I'm curious if you have any of you have a question.